This route avoids road closures on South Howard Street. You are on the best route. You'll probably hear the GPS warning while you're still on the highway. It's been a standard since the water main break turned this downtown crossing into a construction site two and a half weeks ago. It's been like a month, man, it's, and it's getting worse, to be honest. It's chaos. Everybody walking everywhere trying to get to their destination, can't find nowhere to go. However, if you're coming into the city this weekend, and there are 50,000 of you just for Billy Joel on Friday, city officials say you won't hit such a big roadblock here by Camden Yards. And they're hoping you won't get stuck in the bottleneck of a detour it created down Conway, which is a nightmare even at 1130 on a Thursday morning. Traffic is ridiculous. You got to be capital because folk will run over you. What you will be able to do, albeit slowly, is finally drive across Pratt Street and straight up Howard. There will be two lanes open northbound on Howard and two lanes of Pratt going east from Friday at noon till Sunday at 1 a.m. We're going to need those lanes of Howard back after the weekend because of the work site work is ongoing. If you're taking public transportation, expect service impacts to continue. Regular light rail riders offering up this advice. Just wake up an hour earlier. You may make it on time and you may not. Here is some more good news starting at noon tomorrow on Pratt Street from this line right here at the intersection of Howard going straight down east to the Inner Harbor. All of these lanes will be reopened permanently going forward. Now, the nah news that we have as well, the water and sewer line work remains. The DPW says that is work that will take several weeks at least. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Kay Damara, WBAL TV 11 News.